ladies and gentlemen, get ready. They're saying this is going to impact more than 220 million people in the U.S. We have our first polar vortex that is blasting into the country. And as you can see on this map, it's going to be the vast majority impacted by this thing. Now, in my neck of the woods, they're saying we won't feel it until around Tuesday. There are some areas that's going to feel it this coming weekend. And as you can see, the areas in the purple, those are going to be the coldest spots in the country. So it looks like very little of the country is going to be spared. <laughs> So get ready, y'all. Get ready, especially if you're in areas where you're just not used to this. So you can, you know, you got a few days to get things in order if that's what you need to do. So they're, they're saying they're a little surprised that it's coming this early in the year. But this is 2024 and we're going to see a lot of changes. Okay, so this is going to be starting for some later this week, some over the weekend, and next week, depending on where you are in the country. So, y'all, they're saying get those parkas ready. After a mild December, the polar vortex is set to send a major Arctic blast into the u.s so this polar jet will be pushed further south and so those of you that are not used to these temperatures get ready get things in order just in case you go through a power outage during this time so all of the cold arctic air that has been bottled up over Canada is now making its way down to the lower 48. So according to uh, weather.com, this will likely be the coldest air felt across the lower 48 this winter so far. The chill charts this week you can see the minuses on the map because you're going to be feeling that depending on where you are. And this frigid air will be sticking around for at least a week. It could be beyond that depending on where you are. Weekend temperatures could drop in the range of 30 to 50 degrees below average for this time of the year for some locations wind chills could approach minus 50 degrees in several places wow the temperature outlook from the climate prediction center shows well below average temperatures in minneapolis kansas city little rock in arkansas nashville and tennessee and Chicago through January 18th. So they said this is partly El Nino's fault for this uh, mild winter that we had up until this time. So December was not bad weather-wise for us. You know, we did get quite a bit of rain where I am, but still overall, it really was not that bad at all. Had a lot of 50 degree days. So, all right. So now, uh, about two weeks ago, the Arctic underwent minor sudden stratospheric warming. The air in the stratosphere, a layer in the Earth's atmosphere, about 19 miles above the surface, warmed by 55 degrees. 
So about every other year, weather events in the lower atmosphere send strong atmospheric waves into the stratosphere, which interacts with the polar vortex. The polar vortex is a band of strong winds circling the North Pole. A constant stable spin of those winds keep the Arctic air locked in place. So the winds slow and they become unstable just like the top of a vortex wobble. So the stratospheric weather leads our weather for as much as two weeks. You know, and we're not the only ones to go through this. They go through this over in um, Europe as well. You know, we know Canada gets it. Canada is right there, you know. So it's not unusual. So a lot of times the warming will disrupt a polar vortex, you know. So for us, it's going to go on until like around the 23rd. And that's when the warm air will come in and it will break the polar vortex. Y'all remember the great Texas freeze, February of 2021. Boy, I don't think I will ever, ever forget that. My heart went out to y'all in Texas. And I think what was even more devastating, it was a politician that made the decision to turn the power off. And I thought that was the craziest thing ever. But the rich people there had electricity. It did not make sense. Look, I have been in the Northeast my entire life. I have never, ever heard of any politicians ordering power to be shut off on the coldest time of the year. So that by far was the first I've ever seen something like that happen. Y'all should have ran that person out of town for real. So that was terrible. People died. People were just, it was just devastating watching the folks there in Texas. And I felt so bad, you know, it was one of those situations where you see it and you really wish you could do something to help, but you really couldn't, you know, but I did call a few people down there in Texas just to, I just had to hear your voice and make sure you were okay. So <clears throat> they're saying if you can stay in during this time, try to stay in. If you're not going to be in, make sure you're bundled up. You don't want any frostbite on your skin. So make sure you're well covered. Your children are well covered before you go out in all of this madness. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. And you know we're going to get more. This is definitely not going to be the only one for the winter season. There'll be more coming. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.